Hi guys, my brother Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. You're gonna spend the day with me. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so as you can see, I am in a new place. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's a decor dream. Don't worry, I'm going to give you guys a behind the scenes tour. But first, I have a quick winter haul in partnership with Nasty Gal. So special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have a few dresses. I have a wonderful pair of boots. I have a nice fuzzy robe. I'm gonna show you guys all of these pieces. Do know that I have linked everything down below in the description box for you guys and I'm a size six or medium in everything. So without further ado, let's get into my outfit of the day because y'all know this is a fashion channel first and y'all, this is good. It's good. All right guys, so I had to go put on an earring because I realized I did my entire intro without one but these earrings are lily sadohi they are an old favorite and i just feel like they go really amazing with this nasty gal dress do y'all see this dress i have been wanting a white ribbed knit long sleeve dress forever it's definitely giving lux it's giving chic it's giving rich uh, it's giving body. I cannot even express you guys how soft this material is. I love that the sleeves are extra long. The neckline is giving designer Kate. I mean, do y'all do y'all see this dress? It's everything. Oh my god. So I have the size medium. Fits like a dream. I'm loving this kind of undercut design here as well. Um, you can kind of wear it on the shoulder or kind of off the shoulder both ways. Uh, work pretty well. I really hope that they still have this dress in stock. I'm gonna link it down below. I have a feeling it's going to sell out quick. So if you need to, go ahead and stop this video, head down to the links below and cop yours. Um, I'm pretty sure it comes in a few other colors as well, but uh, fabric is so soft. It's a very light knit. Um, I could definitely still get away with wearing this in Miami on a cold, not a cold, but you know, a crisper day or night. But if you're in a colder region, this is great. You could pop over a winter coat, maybe a really nice wool coat and a boot, and you have yourself a look. So I will link this dress down below. If it's not available, I will link similars from the Nasty Gal website. You know, when they make something good, they tend to make it a lot <laughs> so you can find it. Um, I'll also link down below just a few other dresses that I'm absolutely loving for winter, for fall uh, on the Nasty Gal site. Now, let's get into this boot. Like literally, I have to take it off to show it to you guys because it's, <laughs> it's incredible. So if you guys watched my previous Miami vlog where I do my Black Friday haul, you know that I'm loving brown patent leather boots. Those were kind of expensive. These are so affordable and absolutely incredible from Nasty Gal. You guys, I've wanted a pair of like chocolate boot boots forever. This is the color I was going for. Look at that toe. I love how the bottom part kind of comes out from the brown patent leather. I love that stitching. I love that it's a soft booty. This part is a little bit pliable. It does zip up the back, but look at that heel. Look at that triangular shape heel. Uh, and this part here, y'all, these are everything. I really hope they still have them on the Nasty Gal site so I can link them down below. You can wear these boots with every single thing in your wardrobe. Brown is a neutral, it goes with everything. It works well with white, it works well with green, it works well with all of the best fall colors and winter colors as well. So I will link these down below. Definitely go with your normal size. I got the size 10, they fit perfectly. They do have cushion down in the bottom, so they're very, very, very comfortable. Get into them. I'm gonna link these down below. Hopefully, again, they're still available. I will also link a few more boots that I'm loving from the Nasty Gal website that I think you all will love 
for winter as well. So that is my outfit of the day and two pieces that I have gotten in from Nasty Gal that I'm loving. Let's get into, I think we have two more dresses and another thing that you guys will love. So let's get into the rest of the haul. All right guys, so next up we have this fuzzy white or like a cream robe. It is super soft. You guys love like the loungewear that I feature from Nasty Gal. They always have the best like two piece sets, loungewear, robes. In fact, the outfit that I was wearing earlier this morning, the two piece kind of reddish orange set also from Nasty Gal. But I always love to put on this robe in the morning, just when I'm doing my skincare, getting myself together for the day, and also when I'm winding down at night. So this robe is really long and luxurious. Uh, it's so soft, y'all. So I will link this down below. I got the size medium. It fits well, a little bit oversized because that's what I like when, you know, lounging in a robe. Um, but you can see the texture there, how it's kind of fuzzy. And I also believe that this robe comes with like a matching pant, a matching short, and a few different matching tops as well. So I will link a few of my favorite fuzzy loungewear pieces from Nasty Gal that will get you through the winter in warmth and chicness down below in the description box, including this robe. I do believe it comes in a few colors. This robe always sells out. So I hope it's still available. Again, if you need to, go ahead and stop the video, girl, because you know we sell things out over here. But a perfect winter staple from Nasty Gal. All right, guys, next up, and this might be my favorite piece from the haul. We have this chartreuse green ribbed knit exposed seam maxi. Well, not maxi, it's pretty much a midi dress. Look at the sleeves. They have a split hem sleeve. Ugh, I'm loving everything about this dress. I even love that it's a really kind of a boat neck, a very wide open neck. It fits like a dream. It does have quite a bit of stretch. I got my normal size, which is the US size six. For me, it fits perfectly. I probably could have sized down to a four because it does have a considerable amount of stretch, but I actually love how it looks on me and I don't feel like it's tight and constricting. The knit is very, very soft against your skin. The ribbing is pretty a, a pretty tight rib, but front and back has this exposed seam kind of pinching the fabric design, and I just love that. And I'm just loving green. Like right now, green is hot. All different shades of green are my favorite. Green has always been my favorite color, but this is stunning, and it looks so good on like brown skin, but really, any skin tone can really get away with chartreuse. Like it's a beautiful pop of color. I think this dress would be perfect for a winter dinner out, a girl's night out, even for a holiday party, because this color just screams, look at me, it's the holidays. Like it's time, I need to be seen. It does not have a slit at the bottom, um, which I think just makes it a little more elevated and chic as well. And again, this dress worked out perfectly with these same chocolate brown boots from Nasty Gal. Like that color combo is everything. The brown and the chartreuse. Uh, let me tell you, Nasty Gal has the best dresses. The quality of this is A1 and the price is incredible. So I will link this dress down below in the description box. Um, hopefully it's still available. I will also continue to link other dresses like this because y'all can kind of see, you know, where I'm going here. I love a good rib, I love long sleeves, I love a little detailing, and so I will go through the site and just pick out my favorites, and they will be down below. So if you are in the market for a really cool, fun, yet elevated dress for the winter season, for those holiday parties, I got you. It's stunning. And it is a lighter knit, so yeah. All right, guys, and last but not least, I got another dress. Y'all know how I do. It is a rib knit. This is a turtleneck um, sleeveless dress in this beautiful like burnt orange color, but it's almost like a neon. Um, this is a wonderful color for fall and for winter. I mean, uh, just stunning. You see the quality of the fabric there. 
so I got my normal size which is a US size 6 and it fits perfectly it might be even airing on the smaller side so if you want a little more wiggle room maybe size up otherwise just go with your normal size again no slit here I actually really love that this dress almost kind of comes out just a little bit almost like um, a mermaid hem but other than that form fitting sucks you in at all the right places it is stretchy but this kind of stretch is not the type of stretch where you size down it's the type of stretch that's gonna suck you in <laughs> in all the right places a very well made thick knit and I absolutely love it fits like a dream again paired really well with these chocolate brown boots I want to look on the site and see what other colors these come in because now that I have these I need more <laughs> so this will be great if you want to make it a little more winter appropriate you can always wear like a white turtleneck a black turtleneck a gray turtleneck underneath or you can throw over a cardigan hey you can even throw this fuzzy robe over it and wear it with like a, a crisp white booty Ooh, that's a look all right and so that is the final and the fourth one two three four five <laughs> pieces that i got in from nasty gal and that is the end of our nasty gal winter haul i do have some coats coming in from nasty gal next week so we will do like a coat haul and i also order a few sweaters as well because it does get a little cool here sometimes in miami and also i know that my a lot of my audience is in new york or places where there's an actual real winter and I still want to give you guys the tea on everything fashion for a great deal. So special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this portion of the video. Remember everything is linked down below that I showed you along with a few more of my favorite rib knit dresses that I think are great for winter. Any kind of like loungewear that I think is elevated and super cute and also great boots with style for winter. So make sure to check out those links in the description box to shop any of these things. And again, Nasty Gal, always looking out. I have another one coming soon with coats, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's get into these digs because you've kind of seen me modeling the clothes around here and I'm sure you guys want the tour. So let me give you the tour of this place. So as you guys can see, I'm in a brand new location. I'm gonna be here for a while, so I'm not gonna share exactly where this place is, but eventually I will just link it in one of these vlogs, probably next week. But this place is stunning. I'm on a very high floor. <laughs> the views are spectacular this place does not have a balcony which I'm kind of sad about I've gotten so used to having a balcony in the previous places that I've been staying but it's okay I still have an amazing view so let me give you a tour so when you walk in there is a long hallway the floors are wood and just stunning and brand new like you can smell them okay they're stunning they're brand new you look to the left and there's like a little office nook and I love everything about it. There's a beautiful desk where you can get some work done. There is a raffia chair there. You guys know how I feel about raffia. And there is this white wood paneling all throughout the space that I really love. I think it's called burlap, I'm not sure. But I love the walls. There's a huge circular round mirror like hanging by a rope which is gonna be great for morning selfies or outfit selfies and I just love the lamp. I know that that lamp is from I believe Crate and Barrel or CB2 because I've been wanting that lamp. That lamp is stunning. There's also a little mirror there that lights up that's great for like doing your makeup if you want to sit there and do your makeup which is wonderful. I love that little area. I've already used it. Your girl's been working they also have like one of those little things where you can put your suitcase right now i have boxes there because i have so many packages y'all we will do an unboxing later oh there's a nice art too in the hallways the whole theme of this place is kind of like beach very beachy it's, it's giving very one hotel in this room but i'm not at the one so anywho you come in a little bit further to the left there is a nice closet space um you open it up 
you have a nice area for hanging up clothes there's a few shelves right now i have shoes and bags there there is a safe there's also a little mini bar in there as well and then you come a little further and to the right you have this stunning bathroom now i'm pretty sure the bathroom in my new home is going to be very similar to this bathroom I love the fixtures. I love the play on the black and the white. I love the floor tiles. It has a glass shower with a waterfall shower head. Love that for me. I love the dual sinks with the black matte hardware. I'm really into black matte hardware. So if you see that a lot in my house, you'll know. <laughs> I'm really into it. I love the dual sinks and the dual mirrors. Really, really nice. Lots of space underneath for storing your makeup and towels and all of those good things. And then the bathroom portion where the toilet is, is separate, um, which I love. You can close that door and it just has a nice uh, towel rack in there. And I also love that the door leading to the bathroom is a sliding like painted white wood door, which is great. You come out of the bathroom, there is a huge full length mirror. Now, this is like the first time I had a full length mirror that didn't have any kind of designs on it. It's perfect for outfits, like absolutely perfect. This mirror, it just makes my soul happy because out of all of the places I have stayed, other than the Airbnb that was split level, this is the only place that's had a perfect selfie mirror an outfit mirror and you y'all fashion girls know it matters okay it matters all right go a little bit further into the room we have a nice plush like beige couch where i can relax it has a cute little black side table next to that and some really cool artwork everything is very black very cream very very wood very white and i'm loving the color scheme like it's just everything there is a huge desk where you can put your clothes and things and right above that is a flat screen TV again the walls are all of this white painted kind of burlap wood that I'm loving it gives me such beach vibes there's also a bar cart which is pretty stocked I actually have some things from Dior over there that I need to unbox so we might do that in this video too y'all I love the floor to ceiling windows and curtains everything just everything um, and of course this huge canopy wooden frame bed I slept on this bed last night y'all and let me tell you one of the best night sleeps I've ever had loving these night table lamps the texture of them is everything they're like porcelain but you can tell that they were handmade just incredible loving the nightstands as well kind of a lighter birch wood lots of storage space this place is just it's so dreamy and it's pretty new as well the next time i vlog and i'm out of this place i'll make sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out but it is it's beautiful y'all see this light do y'all see this light it's giving it's giving everything okay so i'm actually going to take this dress off because I love it and I wanna wear it later <laughs> and I don't want to get a stain on it because I will, I will. So I'm gonna go change and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna rewind to yesterday because it was a day full of shoots and a day full of fun and I wanna just rewind and take you through that whole entire day and then we'll come back and we'll finish this day.
everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC. I've been working all morning, shooting all morning. I woke up bright and early. I did a quick 30 minute workout and then took a nice shower, got myself together for the day to shoot a few campaigns. I just wanted to show you guys a few behind the scenes look at what goes into shooting these campaigns. I did like a makeup one with my girl Maria. She's here at Bella Rosa blog on Instagram and on YouTube. Definitely give her a follow. Um, and then we're just kind of finishing up the first look. I'm wearing this Hanifa dress that I actually just got in last night. This dress was on sale during the Black Friday sale. So if you missed out, I hate it for you because there was so, there was so much good stuff on sale so i got this dress i got it in a small and it fits perfectly usually i size down in hanifa pieces because they tend to run big this dress is thick it's heavy it's long and you can only take baby steps in it but it is stunning and i do believe it comes in pink as well and i like that the back the back is out so this is kind of the first thing we're shooting we're about to shoot another beauty campaign as well and then i have like three just outfits that i want to shoot for myself come on along it's gonna be a good one just wrapped my shoot it went really well I shot two campaigns here in the apartment both for luxury beauty brands and skincare brands so really excited for that content to go live I don't know if it'll be live by the time this video goes up we'll see um, I also did a little something new. I've been using the Clinique eyeliner, the liquid one, and I normally never use a liquid liner because my eyelashes are so curly. I can never get close enough to my actual lash line. But this campaign I did called for a cat eye. So I kind of did one and I'm really excited about like how cute it came out. I've never done it before. I used to think it ages me to have anything really black above my eye. But I actually really love it. It came out great. Um, the lip is Fenty Unveil as always. Oh wait, let's get back to shooting the looks. I finally shot uh, my Hanifa dress that I just got in yesterday. Um, it's white and green. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Definitely sized down in it. 
what else did I shoot? I shot the outfit that I wore when Janae and I went shopping in a previous vlog in the Miami Design District. I actually took a photo of that and put it on Instagram and everyone loved that outfit so much that I had to shoot it. And I did shoot it with my brand new colorful Fendi Baguette bag that I also got in Miami Design District. So what else did I shoot? Oh, I finally shot my Cecile Bonson, hope I'm saying that correctly, a black sheer long kind of dress with my Alexander Wang shorts, Gian Tarasi heels, and my brand new Balenciaga hourglass mini bag. I actually got that dress from a sample sale in New York City and I told you all exactly how I was gonna style it and it just came out great. And last but not least, I shot this yellow bodycon, not really bodycon, but it's a yellow dress by the brand Beck and Bridge, which is one of my favorite brands for really just throw on and go like very light knit stretchy dresses. I mean, I paired it with my brand new belt, Styles by Knack, which is a black owned business. I showed you guys this belt in a previous video and I believe they came out on Black Friday. So yeah, if you're looking for a really cool avant-garde belt with multiple pockets that would just elevate any outfit, you can wear it with dresses, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with midi skirts, um, even over like thick blazers and coats in the winter, definitely check out Styles by Knack or Shop Styles by Knack. I'll put it down below. Everything that you guys saw me shoot today with Maria, if it's available, I've linked it down below. I'm a size medium or a size small and everything a lot of you don't know that a lot of like influencers bloggers style bloggers and creatives are partnered with a, a brand or like an affiliate site it's called like to know it Dot com. I have a page there. It's just like to know it.com backslash Monroe Steel. Um, anytime you're looking for something I'm wearing in a vlog, in a video, on my blog, on my Instagram, I usually post there and you can shop everything I'm wearing from that website or from that app if you download it. So I will put a link to that down below. Um, you can download the app or you could just save the URL. I mean, anytime you're looking for something I'm wearing and you can't find it on my blog or in the description box, you will always be able to find it on that app. I put on this H&M white linen button up top and I just tied it. You guys know I have so many of these. Anytime they have a sale, I stock up on them. I usually buy them two sizes too big. I like them a little oversized. So I believe this is a size eight. And I'm also wearing my brand new Hanifa skirt. This is another item that I bought from the Black Friday sale that she had. I've been wanting this skirt forever. It was in stock. It was on sale. So I finally got it and I absolutely love it. It is 80 degrees today, you guys. I was sweating shooting outside today. So I wanted to wear the least amount of clothes possible and this outfit fit the bill. I'm gonna pop on my white Bottegas. I'm gonna grab a bag. And I think what I'm gonna do is head across the street. The Satai Hotel is over there and they have a restaurant outside. It's called Ocean Grill and they have like five stars. So I'm just gonna walk over there and see if I can get a table and take you guys with me for lunch. But I do wanna show you guys one of the brands that I worked with or that I just created content for today is Clinique. And you guys, I am absolutely loving their foundation. I have their foundation on right now. It's very matte. Even though I've been in the sun like all day shooting, um, you do have like a slight glow. I'm absolutely loving it. Anytime I wear my other foundation, which is NARS Sheer Glow, I get so shiny super quick. So this is the foundation and it is called Clinique even better clinical it is a serum foundation it also has spf 25 which is great for miami it's 100 percent fragrance free weightless buildable full coverage you shake it well you put it on you guys this is it like i've had this on since this morning i've been in the hot sun for two hours shooting and it still looks good. Like by this time I would need to blot several times, add some powder, I have very oily skin. And this is incredible. This is my new zhuzh. Let me get you guys the exact one that I use. All right guys, so this is actually the one and the color is 
CN116 Spice. And they have lots of uh, different brown shades, which is awesome. I'm very impressed. And you guys know, I was looking for a new foundation because I have gotten darker. And this is it. So shout out to Clinique. If you're looking for a foundation with SPF, if you're in a place that is burning hot like I am right now, or if you just don't like layering SPF and then putting your foundation over that, you want something that's already mixed, definitely try it. I'll link it down below if any of you are interested. So I'm gonna put on a fragrance. I have a new one. You probably would have seen me earlier shooting for it. It's YSL and it is incredible. So this is my first time using YSL Libra or Libra. Is it Libra or Libra? Oh, it's Libra. You guys, this smells so good. I love mixing this with the Gucci Virgin Violet. It creates the most incredible scent like i smell good okay i smell great look this is amazing you can get it at nordstrom i'll link it oh it's kind of sweet yet mysterious yet who's that girl it's very sweet and mysterious with like a hint of it could be a tiny bit masculine but i love it it smells incredible and the bottle is super cute Super cute. All right, let me show you my full outfit. All right guys, so the full look, Loewe sunglasses, H&M top, Majuri necklace, Christian Dior bag, Hanifa skirt, Bottega mules. That is the look, the scent, YSL Libra, mixed with Gucci Virgin Violet. We're gonna head out. I need to put my key in my bag. I also am taking my uploader because I have a ton of work I need to edit. And I like to edit when I eat. Um, it's just like kill two birds with one stone because I don't have enough time in the day. So that's what we're gonna do. A lot of these campaigns are actually due tomorrow. You guys, it's nuts. It's crazy now. It's not for the, it's not for the, the weak and the feeble-minded and feeble hearts. And again, new favorite hand sanitizer, J.R. Watkins plant-based hand sanitizer made with aloe extract in the sandalwood fragrance. It's amazing. All right, guys, let's go to lunch. Boy, it knows, I'm starting.
all right guys so i just want to do a quick recap of the day before yesterday it wasn't yesterday i ended up shooting a ton of things with my girl maria and then i got myself together and i headed over to the satai for lunch i went to the ocean grill and i got a salmon caesar salad honestly it wasn't that great like i was really kind of there for the ambiance you guys the satai like the grounds are stunning the outside of the hotel don't actually do the inside justice like you would never even know that it was that looks in there i've never been in the satai absolutely stunning um they have a few different restaurants so i just made my way to the outdoor restaurant by going through the satai and just the the ambiance out there incredible they have like this little area outside where they have chairs and like water coming through really really cute i'm definitely gonna go over there and shoot like some outfits because they seem pretty lax over there anywho love the grounds um the restaurant is beautiful the food eh, it was okay i did get a frozen i don't even remember what it was it was a frozen something that was pretty good i had some french fries and then i had the salmon caesar salad but the the, the thing that gets me about the ocean grill is the view it's literally right on the boardwalk, right on the water. You can see the ocean, you can see the sand, you can see the palm trees, uh, and it was such a beautiful day. So after that, I just ended up coming back to my room, got myself nice and cozy in my favorite silk robe from Soma Intimates. I'll link it down below. And watching a little TV, I watched, um, and just like that, the new like kind of Sex in the City reboot, and let me tell you, I, no spoilers, I cried like a baby. First and second episode, I was bawling, y'all. Bawling, okay? Crying my eyes out. It was emotional. Mm. If y'all if y'all know what I'm talking about, sound off below in the comments. If you don't want any spoilers, don't read the comments. But if you're looking for something to watch, it's on HBO Max. It is very good. I I'm, 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 I like the fashion. I love seeing what everyone is wearing. And now that I'm way more like into fashion and I know designers, it's so funny that I can like pick out <laughs> what people are wearing. Like what Miranda is wearing or what Carrie is wearing. And uh, that's fun. I love that. I'm definitely a fashion girl. Like sometimes I don't even know my own powers. The power to be able to correctly identify a designer piece. Hmm. It's a gift and a curse uh <laughs> okay so i'm maybe gonna do a quick unboxing i got some things in from dior for a campaign i'm working on with them so i'll show you guys what i got i also got something in from coco teak and i got something in from and other stories so i'm gonna show you guys do a quick not quick it's not gonna be quick i'm gonna do an unboxing and then I might actually just end this video because I think it's only going to be a daily vlog, even though it's technically two days in this vlog. Let's get into those things. All right, guys. So first up in my unboxing is my Coco Teak Makeup Lovers Box. I partnered with Coco Teak, which is a black owned beauty subscription box for women of color to create my own makeup holiday box. It's called the Makeup Lovers Box. I have put a link down below if any of you are interested in purchasing this box. This is my first time kind of doing something beauty related and I'm really happy to partner with a black owned business to do this. One that I know and love. You can get a subscription every month to receive all kinds of different products, skincare, makeup, beauty, hair care, a lot of my favorite, especially black owned businesses, hair care products and skincare products, I found out from having Coco Teak. I'm really excited for this partnership. I even have my own card, my face is on there, how cool. Dana Hill, she is the founder of Coco Teak and she is just incredible, I absolutely love her. My box is here. It's a few really amazing products in this box. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beauty products. Some of them also from amazing, incredible black owned businesses. We have a 
Line Define Liquid Eyeliner, a Vision Flush, Ballet Slippers, we have Dew Wet Balm, Rose Water, Diamond Shadow, a, bright, a Brightening Vitamin C Sheet Mask, and some Glamazon Beauty products, and also Lamic Beauty Brow Gel, which is a black owned business. So many products in this box, it's great. <laughs> Definitely if you wanna support and you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below and you guys can get yours. Also, one lucky winner who gets this box will also win a $500 Neiman Marcus gift card to update their winner looks. So, get this box and you could be the $500 winner for a Neiman Marcus gift card, which is really great. So, very, very happy and humble that this has come to fruition. I've told you guys about this before, but it's finally here. So I'll link it down below and you guys can check out the box. I think I'm gonna like create a beauty look with all of the products in the box soon for you guys. So stay tuned for that or check out my Instagram. Maybe I'll do a reel. And of course, Dana sent me a card. I love a handwritten card. Like it gets me every time. Hey Monroe, hope you love all of the goodies in your makeup lover's box. I do girl, I do. Okay, let's get into what I got in from and other stories and then we'll end with Dior. All right guys, first things first from and other stories, I got this green dress. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look like much when you hold it up but it's so cool. It has one sleeve, it buttons up, um, around the neck in the back. It has a little bit of ruching. It is a, min a mini dress and it is of course in a super bright green <laughs> color, um, almost like highlighter green. And I just thought this would be a fun dress for like around New Year's, holiday party activities. It is amazing. Shout out to And Other Stories. Um, I am one of their ambassadors. So every month they let me pick out a few cool things from the site to show you guys. This is a stretchy material. As you can see, I feel like it could be a moment, especially here in Miami, y'all know. The brighter, the funner, the better. <laughs> and I almost forget what else I got, but whatever it is, it comes in this super cute like little bag. Like how cute is that? I'm here for it. Oh, it's a bag. One moment. Eek! Okay, I got this bag. I don't know what it is, but I've been kind of into black bags because I realized that I just really need them in my wardrobe. They're not fun to buy <laughs> because they're just boring. But let's face it, we all need a black bag. So I recently got the Balenciaga small hourglass handbag and I'm, I use that for going out. In fact, let me grab that so I can show you. So I recently got this and this is pretty much my going out black bag because it does fit my phone and any little, little miscellaneous things that I may need, it has a little pocket in the back. But I wanted a practical day bag that wasn't a crossbody bag. Now I do have a black Gucci crossbody bag that I left in New York, but this is actually a black shoulder bag. By wearing my Christian Dior bag, I've realized that I'm a shoulder bag kind of gal or a top handle kind of gal. I mean, I do love a good crossbody, but I reach for those less. So I love the gold detailing, you can adjust the strap, which is great. I love this shape. It's really giving 90s, like early 90s. It's giving retro and I'm living for that. I love how the strap kind of extends here like that. I feel like my mom had a bag like this. It is so cool. Gold hardware, you know, I'm a gold gal. And the price is really good for like the material. This is chrome free tanned leather for less than $120. Like. You can't beat it. It's really good. Oh, this is a moment. I love how this looks. It's like part of your outfit. So let me show you guys the inside. Some paper in there, keeping it shaped. And it's a pretty big bag. Like you'll be able to fit a lot in it without it looking bulky. So here's the inside. It does have a pocket here. And then the rest is just open and free. But I believe this does come in a few colors. 
So I'll link it down below if any of you are interested in an affordable leather bag that you will get a lot of wear of and that's just excellent quality. So those are the two things I got in from And Other Stories. Special thanks to them for hooking your girl up. I've linked all of this down below, by the way. Right, guys so first of all this packaging is stunning <laughs> in the first box we have the Miss Dior holiday perfume set comes with the Miss Dior perfume and the reusable travel spray and also came with this extra lip glow a little sample and I'm not even sure what's in here but how cute I think this is a sample as well. So it comes with this Dream Cream from Dior, as well as Grease Dior, Christian Dior. I, I believe this is a perfume. So when you order from Dior Beauty, this is how things come packaged. Stunning, again, a stunning box. You guys know I order a lot of beauty products from Chanel and I always keep the boxes, but like, look how stunning this is. You get two samples a cute little uh, dust bag, and also more samples, and then the actual product that I ordered was this. So this would definitely make the perfect holiday gift if you guys are looking, I mean, look at this packaging. So I will be sure to link these uh, Dior Beauty gift boxes down below, and you guys can shop from my link, and again, you get so many cool things. So here's the first one, which is the Miss Dior perfume and then the reusable travel size one. Just stunning. I really love this perfume. It smells really light and sweet and very elegant and very, very feminine, which I love. Most of my perfumes are like masculine. They're very like unisex. So it's nice to have a perfume that's really, really feminine, light and delicate and of course, I mean, the packaging is incredible. And I mean, how stunning is the little travel one? It's almost like a beige leather and it's embossed with Dior. Really, really beautiful. So this is the second box that I'm opening. Look at this. Look at this travel pouch. It is canvas. You have that CD, Christian Dior. This will be great for traveling. Ugh. Comes with that same packaging. But this one here is the J'adore, the perfume, the Eau de Perfume, and the body cream. So this comes with three things inside. Great for a gift, and also comes with this little pouch. Let's open this first because I want to know what's in here. So it does have a button closure, and there are some products in here. I mean, this is just great. You get all of this. This is the only thing I purchased and all of this other stuff comes with it. Oh my God, look at these little minis. So I have the Super Potent Serum from Dior. A super cute mini Miss Dior. This is great for like traveling. Oh. And I believe this is a lipstick and it's their infamous Rouge. I mean, they have some really good gifts that come with <laughs> their purchases. This is excellent. I love this. And of course you could just put them all in your little CD pink blush canvas tote, which will be great for travel or just popping into your bag when you don't wanna like ruin the inside of your bag with makeup and things. That is wonderful. All right guys, so here we go with the J'adore gift set. This is stunning. Oh, beautiful. This is the beautifying body milk. I love the, the bottle. And look at this little mini. And of course, this is really big compared to the other one. Wow, stunning. I really love how J'adore smells. It's a lot less sweet. The J'adore Dior definitely has a distinct smell. It's very light. It's very kind of mysterious. I actually think I preferred this one to the Miss Dior. 
it's a lot more I would say grown up. Stunning packaging, so many gifts. Definitely check out Dior Beauty. I will link both of these gift sets down below in the description box and you guys can check them out. They are pretty affordable. They make excellent gifts. And of course you get all of this beautiful packaging that you can then repurpose and showcase and use for travel. All right guys, so those are the two beauty sets that I got in from Dior as I will be working with them and doing a really cool beauty campaign, my first time working with them. So I'm very, very excited about that. All right guys, so that is it for today. We have a very short vlog today. Remember, everything that I've shown you is linked down below. And special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring a portion of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I would love to have you all be a part of the family. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.